I find my people still groaning under hunger, lawlessness, indebtedness and bonded labor. And anger, luminous, burning and passionate, directed against a system that has failed to liberate my people from these horrible constraints is the only source of inspiration in all my writings. All the parties to the left as well as to the right has failed to keep their commitment to the common people. Said Mahayashweta Devi, born on 14th January 1926 in Dhaka, Bangladesh, died on 28th July 2016 in Kolkata. Mahayashweta Devi was an Indian writer in Bengali and an activist. Her notable literary works include Hajar, Churashirma, Rudali, and Haranyar, Adhikar. She was a self-proclaimed leftist who worked for the rights and empowerment of the tribal people, Loda and Shabar of West Bengal, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh states of India. She was honored with various literary awards such as the Sahitya Academy Award in Bengali, Nyanapet Award in Raman Magsaysay Award along with India's Civilian Awards, Padma Shri and Padma Vibhush. Mahishita Devi said, My India lives behind the curtain of darkness, a curtain that separates mainstream society from the poor and the deprived. The India, the guru for the world of philosophy, have to live behind the curtain of darkness even though all the philosophers, all the greatest saints said from Kattal in the Bilkinnatike, Tamasoma Jodhir Gamiya, from darkness to light, but not even a light at the end of the tunnel for the poor for the people, for the people whom even Jesus Christ said the rich cannot pass through the eye of a needle, but the poor man can. Where is that poor? They build massive churches, massive temples, massive ashrams. The saints who are supposed to work very, very hard, very, very hard, if they think the intelligence is that deep like the Mahabharata or the Ramayana or the Vedas and the Puranas that has become only one-sided and there was no light, only yin and the yang, positive and negative, only can create electricity. My dear Swamiji's, my dear saints, my dear Maharishis, you have gone wrong, terribly wrong in my country. Otherwise, how deep you can go? Why didn't you go that deep to show the power of your hardest labor on your physical body? You went fasting and fasting, and you think that bony structure makes you a Maharishi without working in the name of Dhyana. If Karma Yoga deep down working is not the Brahma Yoga, You have created, as a leader, people believed you as a god like the film actors. Yes. People just believe everything coming out from your mouth is the gospel of truth, but not coming out from your body. You should have proved like the Japanese, if the ordinary workers work one, you should work a thousand times, not ten times, a thousand times, because... My people, my Indian people, my poor in India believes you. They have put so much faith into you. Now get down from your chair, get down from your temples, get down from your ashrams, Sri Sri, Babaji, Amma, and work hard, faster and harder, wearing that layman's dress like Mother Teresa started wearing the sweeper's blue sari. 
that is the only way we can wipe out tears and bring down hunger. That's only one Guru Dikshana we can give to Mahishweta Devi for her struggle to uplift the tribals and to tell why even a tribal leader should be still on chains in the statue, remove it because now we already got independence and we are still in, independent on many countries independent forget about many countries those many countries have become our cities like Kolkata Bombay Bangalore Chennai New Delhi that big cities have become foreign countries who has come to invade us to use our people Nelson Mandela said, Maheshwetha Devi holds a mirror to the conditions of the world as we enter the new millennium. Yes, my India still lives behind a curtain of darkness. And not only my Indian people in the villages, even they took my people to the cities and made them a nobody, put them into pigeon holes. No proper water, no sanitation, clouded them and called them criminals, called them slums, made them a nobody. A curtain that separates mainstream society from the poor and the deprived. A curtain that separates, yes, the judiciary, the police. You have utilized everybody to suppress, beat, threaten, and destroy a Sanskriti, a culture called the family tree. You went and created poison in my villages in the name of politics, in the name of giving them freedom. And after the election, for another five years, my village is divided into pieces. My houses are divided into pieces. Even my people, they, you force them not to listen to your elders. And if you ask them not to listen to the elders, are you the elder? You are a crook, a cheat. But who are you? You are also one among us. Please try to understand that. A poison has been dumped into you. My Shweta Devi believes and I believe. Can we together work hard? The hunger is too much. I find my people still groaning under hunger. My Shweta Devi said, hunger, hunger, hunger for love, hunger for a house. Hunger to see my family, to be with my family. You have broken my family and dragged me to the cities. I do not know. In the name of education, the schools, where is the Gurukula? The house itself is a Gurukula. You have not allowed my Sanskriti to progress. The day you did not allow my Sanskriti to progress, the country will go to dogs without a single shot being fired. All this Sangama drama doesn't last long. All this is mushrooms. Please allow my people to have their own family. Let them stay with their family. Even South Korea allows people to bring their whole family to the city if they want to work. A family if it sits together, eats together, which can create the joint family. And all the sickness, all the hospitals we can remove. We can save a lot of money. But if you remove the hospitals, these gangsters cannot make money. My Shweta Devi said, my India still lives behind a curtain of darkness. A curtain that separates mainstream society from the poor and the deprived. Lawlessness, indebtedness, bonded labor. My people are bonded as a labor, even in the cities as well as down in the villages, in the tribal areas. And anger, luminous, 
burning and passionate director against the system that has failed to liberate system failed to liberate system failed to liberate even if system wants to liberate they have been poisoned to an extent that they are not human beings that has failed to liberate my people from these horrible constants is the only source of inspiration in all my writings of Maheshwita Devi. Please try to understand that I'm talking to the leaders. My people are working hard. You should now get down. Even Socrates says the moment you have a separate room, underhand dealings and start, then wisdom will not become knowledge. You should sit in the same dining hall, along with the people who have your food. You should sleep in the same community hall. No separate buildings at all. What is this huge, huge buildings that you're showing and building and sitting? Even Corona is proved that big buildings people cannot stay. Even the air conditioners have become zero during this corona time. Please get on from your chair. Work with your people. MDs and chairmen also. Yes, get down. Remove your MD and chairman's name till the bell rings for the company to close. And after that, you can sit on the chair and call chair and man. Maheshwita Devi said, my India still lives behind the curtain of darkness. A curtain that separates mainstream society from the poor and the deprived. This is my 301st small talks.